of influencers. Did you ever made a mistake with branded content? Like Anna Nushin did with Shell? Oh gosh. Um, did I ever make a mistake? <clears throat> I've got to think. I mean, I've never had something that was like real, like scandalous or something. There's definitely some campaigns that I look back on and sort of think, I wish I hadn't done that. But I have always been very selective with the campaigns I do do. And especially now that I'm more into sustainability and stuff, you know, I every brand that approaches me, I really think twice, like, you know, can I, is that, is this a good match? Like, is it, you know, believable? Um, and I think if I don't like a brand, then why should I, why should they pay me for me to like tell my followers that, oh, you know, you should use this or it's great. It's, you know, that just doesn't work. Um, but if I think about one, th one campaign was, I did a while ago, it was with, um, a chocolate brand and um, it turned out that they were like they weren't like very wasn't very it was basically wasn't fair trade and then afterwards I thought oh I felt sort of I felt a little bit ignorant that you know I hadn't thought about that and it was only like a small thing really but then I did sort of bug me a bit afterwards I was like oh you know it, yeah there was something I felt like I should have paid more attention to but that was just, I, I, that was, I, it bugged me a lot because I usually, you know, I do do that, you know, I, I pay a lot of um, attention to the brands I work with and, you know, research them and see if, you know, if it's really something that I want to, you know, put my name on. Are there any brands you really, really never, ever work with? Well, yeah, funnily enough, Shell actually approached me and I said, no way. <laughs> I'm not working with you because they were doing a campaign on um, sustainability like planting trees or something and it was just the most ridiculous thing because they are literally like the biggest polluter in the world and you know they wanted to work they wanted to work with me because I make videos about sustainability and I just didn't understand I it was beyond me that they thought that you know I would fall for that in a way, you know, because it's ridiculous. Like if you think about Shell, it's not, oh wow, they are so green, you know, they are so, so much good for the climate. It's like, wow, no, they are the biggest polluter. Um, so that's a brand I would never work with. Um, what, what did they offer you? Do you want to tell that? Well, it was, the campaign was good because it was like, you would go away for like two or three weeks or something for, for to like film videos and stuff. So, you know, it was a fun, it would probably, if you had done it, it would probably be good, a good campaign, you know, because it wasn't just, oh, here's, you know, just make some videos, you would like go away and stuff. But I just, I couldn't, like, how could I have done that? How could I ever be um, believable again or like trustworthy if I had that, if I had done that campaign? Like, how could my followers ever like believe me again? Never. But did they, did they come up with an amount of money, a certain amount of money? Or no, they didn't get to that part yet. And if they Because they, when they called me to do it, um, it, was, it, it was through my agency and they said, oh, we've got a new campaign um, and it's with Shell. And I said, I can't, no, I can't work with Shell. And they're like, oh, well, it's a really good campaign because you get to go, like, you go abroad for like two, three weeks and film there and stuff. And like, it sounds good, but like, I cannot, like, I make videos about, you know, climate change and, you know, how could I ever work with Shell? Like, I can't, I'm sorry. And I'm like, okay, well, okay, get it. But, yeah. So we didn't even get to that part where they were gonna offer me the money because what would have mattered, even if they gave me, you know, triple the amount that I would usually ask, I could not have worked with them. I just couldn't have. So there's, there were, there's no amount you would say, okay, let's do this. No, because what I've, you know, if you think about, I have worked, so far I've worked eight years to get where I am now to build my platform and you know to tell people you know what I stand for what I believe in and you know what's important to me and I think if I had done that I think I would just have thrown that away because what does it, what, what would have mattered you know if all those years I've been saying one thing and then as soon as people give me a, a big bag of cash 
I would have just changed my mind and said, oh right, I'll just, you know, it's good for the money. So I don't believe, oh, I don't, you know, I'm just going to try and sell you something now that, you know, all these years I've been so against it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. What would be a brand you really, really want to work with? So, I think a brand that I would really want to work with. I've worked with some amazing brands recently that I you know, really believe in. Like, I worked with the Dutch Sustainable Fashion Week, which was amazing. Or, you know, Wrangler, who have made the most sustainable denim ever. And those are collaborations. Or with, I worked with the European Union to get people to vote. You know, that's stuff that I really feel very strongly about and the fact that I you know get to, to 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 be paid by them to tell about something that I love anyway you know that I feel passionate about that's like the best thing that could happen you know um I think brands that I haven't worked with that I would love to work with are maybe Feja or uh, they're a stable denim um shoe brand you know they've got the white sneakers with the v on it you see them everywhere but lots of people don't realize they just like the shoes but they're like an amazing brand like they do they spend no money on marketing um it's just all like everything goes to uh, the factory workers and the farmers and stuff and um they just get their all the promotion from people who just love the brand um and so i think that was that would be someone that I would love to work with, or I don't know, like Greenpeace or something, you know. But, but obviously they're like a non-profit. Are they non-profit? I'm not sure if they are. But anyway, that's yeah. You really want to make a better world. I do. Yes, I feel like you know I've been doing this for a long time, and it's not always something that was like on the the you know that was the that first thing that came to my mind. It was like oh I need to make a change. I was always just making videos for entertainment and stuff like that. But now, you know, I'm growing up as well and, you know, my world views have shifted and especially in this day and age, you know, I feel like it's very, especially because I have a platform, you know, I have a voice that I can use for things other than just, this is how I do my makeup in the morning or, you know, sort of inconsequential things. I can use my platform to actually, you know, make a change and, you know, even if it, it, it it's really small, I, I it still gives me, I don't know, a sense of satisfaction, and I think much more than it would have if it was just, um, I don't know, inconsequential stuff. But it, yeah, it really gives me a sense of you know doing something, doing all that I can to make a difference and to do better, you know. Follow the Moti on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat.